G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here in Adobe Photoshop Elements 12 to show you how layers work within Photoshop documents. Here I am looking at a recent scrapbook layout I made about my son Edward. On the right of my screen, you can see a list of layers in this area here called the layers panel. Inside the layers panel every single element on my layout is its own specific layer. And as I click through them you can see the bounding box with handles popping up on each item as I click on it. Layers work similarly to a stack of overhead projector transparencies. If you can imagine that you have 20 different sheets of clear plastic, each with a little drawing on them. As you stack them up on the overhead projector, the whole picture comes through. For example, in my layout here, my very top layer is this little blue button. The layer bounds are quite small but nothing is on the same level as this particular button. Everything else in my document is sitting on layers behind. Think about what the back layer is. It's this green cardstock. So similarly if you scroll to the bottom of the layers panel you'll find the bottom layer here is a white background layer. You can't actually see that because this full sheet of green cardstock is in front. And then above that is the yellow patterned paper. If I take this yellow patterned paper and pull it downwards it disappears behind the green cardstock but I can easily pull the green cardstock back to where it's supposed to go and everything goes back to normal. As you can see the way that we move layers forward and backwards is within this layers panel. If I was to take this teal button and pull it down the stack of layers it would disappear. It's still there and it's still even in the same position but it's now hiding behind a stack of other layers on my scrapbook page. So we'll move it back up to where it should be. The layers panel allows you to add and remove things to your layout by deleting the layers if we want to. If we want to see how the layout would look without a specific layer, we just click the little eye icon to turn off its visibility. That photo is still there and I can bring it back at any time by just clicking on the little eye icon again. If you're ever working in Photoshop Elements and you add something to your page, say some text, and you start typing, click the green check mark and you can't see your type, check your layers panel. It might be hiding. I can easily click and drag the thumbnail for that specific layer to bring it right back up to the top. Now I can see my typing. I'm working in Photoshop Elements Expert Mode as you'll see up here. The Expert Mode has a Layers Panel. If you can't see the Layers Panel you can click on the layer icon at the bottom right or just be sure that you're not working in one of the other modes such as guided or quick edit mode. In Photoshop CS or CC there's only one mode so you won't need to worry about that. If you can't see a layers panel in Photoshop CS or CC go to the Windows menu and choose layers. 
I love to have my layer icons nice and big so it's easy for me to see exactly where everything is in my layout. To set yours up just like mine, head to the Layers panel and turn to the Options button and then click Panel Options. You have an option of lots of different sizes of thumbnails or you could turn them off altogether if you wanted. If you have a small screen you might be happy with smaller layer icons but I love to have mine big and, and I like to choose the layer bounds so that for example where my button is I just see the button and not the entire document. Just show you what that looks like otherwise. When you have the entire document you can see where on the page your layers are positioned but it's a little harder to see exactly what those are. So I tend to leave it on big thumbnails with layer bounds. There are a lot of fun techniques that you can do with layers. You can add styles and effects to turn plain black text into a cutout look. And you can add layer styles such as shadows or even blend photos into the backgrounds through blending modes. I hope this introduction to layers in Photoshop Elements has been helpful. If you have more questions feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you to Sugar Pump Papery for who a new chapter boy kit that I've used in this video. This mini kit is included in the full class of Digi Scrap from Scratch. If you'd like to learn more about creating your own digital scrapbook pages, even if you're a Photoshop Elements beginner, head to digiscraphq.com slash digiscrapscratch. In my video class at Big Picture Classes, you'll receive all the instruction you need to create beautiful pages from scratch and you'll also receive six mini kits from talented designers like Sugar Plum Papery. Thanks so much for watching.